Scientists have suggested a mind-blowing theory. The universe may resemble a black hole to any outside observers. In this video, we're going to dive into primordial black holes that were formed when our universe was a baby, long before stars and galaxies were even born. Scientists at the Kabli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe at the University of Tokyo in Japan suggest primordial black holes could account for strange cosmic possibilities, including baby universes and major features of the current state of the cosmos, like dark matter. Such black holes could also play a role in the synthesis of heavy elements when they collide with neutron stars and destroy them, releasing neutron-rich material. 68% of the universe comprises dark energy. The matter that we see is responsible for less than 5%, whereas dark matter makes up some 27% of the universe. The new research suggests there's an exciting possibility that the mysterious dark matter is composed of primordial black holes. To study the exotic primordial black holes, physicists employed the hyper-suprime cam of the huge 8.2-meter Subaru telescope, a gigantic digital camera near the 4,200-meter summit of Mount Mauna Kea in Hawaii. In their study, the research team observed the early universe the time of quick expansion following the Big Bang. During that time, the universe was sufficiently dense and the conditions were just right for creating primordial black holes. One exciting possibility is that primordial black holes could form from the baby universes created during inflation, a period of about 10 to 33 seconds after the Big Bang during which the fabric of our universe expanded at a speed faster than that of light. This period was responsible for seeding structures we see today, such as galaxies and galactic structures. The research team suggests during inflation, baby universes can branch off of our universe. Although such a baby or daughter universe would ultimately collapse upon itself, the almost incalculable release of energy would lead to the formation of a black hole. An even more exotic phenomenon is that some of the bigger baby universes might not have gone so quietly. If it is bigger than some critical size, Einstein's theory of gravity allows the baby universe to exist in a state that appears different to an observer on the inside and the outside. The internal observers would witness something expanding, while those on the outside, such as us, would view this baby universe as a black hole. This theory has led some to question whether everything known to exist is potentially on the inside or outside of such a universe. Such a baby universe would be invisible to us because it would be hidden by its event horizon the invisible boundary beyond which everything is trapped and cannot escape. Primordial black holes, however, should not be confused with supermassive black holes found at the center of galaxies, which have masses billions of times that of our sun. These ancient black holes have masses as small as that of our moon. The hypersuprime cam is, without a doubt, indispensable in this research, and that's because the extremely advanced camera is able to produce images of the entire Andromeda galaxy every few minutes. If a black hole passes through the line of sight to one of the stars, the black hole's gravity bends the light rays and makes the star appear brighter than before for a short period of time. This duration can tell us the mass of the black hole. With such an advanced camera, one can observe 100 million stars in one go, casting a wide net for primordial black holes that may be crossing one of the lines of sight. 
A new round of observations is now underway, extending the search for primordial black holes to confirm their existence and determine if there are enough of them to explain a dark matter. This is indeed a fascinating idea, but such counterintuitive thoughts have crossed people's minds even before. A study published last year, for example, found so-called charged black holes may include within them infinitely repeating fractal universes that could theoretically be stretched and deformed in multiple directions. These ideas may sound like science fiction scenarios, but Carl Sagan once said, imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were, but without it, we go nowhere. Thank you.